Happy Sunshine family, Lunacy is back. We are taking a look at post-trial filings in the Hat JRKB matter, document 153 off the PACER record. Let's head over and take a look at that. There we go. All right. So this is just a copy of the Presepe that Heather has already filed before. Here, this is the second notice, the Standing Presepe Declaration of Due Cause and Judgment and Order of Dismissal. see that this was filed in the courts on January 23rd, 2018 originally, and now it's being filed again on the 26th of February. Heather's repeating herself. She feels that she has to here. It's going to Deborah C. Poplin, the all caps counterpart, and anybody who's associated with her through the clerk of court's position. We got Thomas A. Varlin, <clears throat> and anybody who's associated with him and his all caps counterpart. Same for Clifford, uh, C. Clifford Shirley Jr., Douglas James Overby, <clears throat> Cynthia Davidson, and Anne Marie Svalto. We have the same presepes that we read through before. Presepe 1 for Duke Claw. For due cause declared below, restated, this presepe declaration of due cause and judgment of dismissal is duly entered and recorded into the record <clears throat> with and by due authority, authorization, legal standing, lawful standing, with full due responsibility, accountability, liability, and endorsement of Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe and Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe, the all caps and the, the real person. <clears throat> Presepe 2, due notice. Each act done by foreign agents, registered and not registered, are a matter of public record and have been and continue to be duly accepted as evidence of separate acts of gross negligence, collusion, corruption, subversion, and more. <clears throat> Presepe 3, due further notice of enforcement of said done by and under due executive order document 71, declaration of due notice and service of executive order 13818. <clears throat> this is the presidential executive order that uh, we've been talking about. You can go back and check uh, Sheila Corona's video. She read through the whole executive order 13818. We got Presepe 4, which is Presepe's 1 through 3, restated. She's repeating herself again. <clears throat> and this is the second time for this particular document. Presepe 5 is Presepe 4, restated. And it's a judgment of dismissal with prejudice. It is duly made, issued, entered, recorded, noticed, and effective immediately in the above referenced alleged case and all case references associated thereto. Nunc pro tunc praetera praetera. That's retroactively, basically, is what that's saying. So we can go back here and see that all of the statement of facts are the same as when they were filed previously. And my big takeaway is that this is the second time that Heather has had to tell the courts this and they are ignoring her. We've got her certificate of service, proof of service, and then William Thomas Ferguson is the one who filed this in the electronic courts filing system. So even post-verdict, a post-guilty verdict, <clears throat> Heather is still issuing the same presepe on a second notice to the courts. Well, I don't think this is going to be the last time that she sends this notice to the courts. It'll be interesting just how many times the courts are going to ignore her before they finally take notice of this light. 
If you've got any love, light, or links for me, you can send them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, at protonmail.com. This has been document number 153. This is part 12 of Hat J's post-trial filings, and we'll be back with more really soon. I love you guys a lot. Bye-bye.